this is Son Goku Legendary Super Saiyan, released in 2023. He has 4 face blades, standard amount for recent Vigwarts releases. Plus, 2 types of heads. The normal hair has 2 optional bangs, while the rich hair has 1 bangs. They're not interchangeable. He has 6 pairs of hands, plenty but not enough variation. He has 3 very similar types of claw hands. As a result, no teleport hands and no hello hands. And last, a set of Kamehameha effect, same mold as in Goku SS4. The heads are very well crafted, likeness is superb. I'm amazed that it took 12 years for Figwarts to nail Goku look correctly. Sculpts are sharp, similar styles to Goku SS4 and BFTF trunks, decals are precisely placed. Skin tone is light green, no shadings, matte finished. Teeth paint job is acceptable. Expression variant is standard, covering most possible action poses. The open mouth is perfectly sculpted and painted. Faces are made of soft plastic, attached tightly to the heads, not easily detached during posing. Head sculpt is good, with just a slight gap on the sides. Combining 4 face blades, 3 bangs, and 2 heads, Goku has a total of 12 different looks, the most variants in Figuarts line to date. The straight up bang also has slight gap on the sides, only a minor issue, acceptable for the price. Hair sculpt is back to Dragon Ball Z style with sharp corners and deep hairlines, in line with BFTF trunks or tatties, made of soft plastic as usual. Surface is smooth, minor rough spots behind the ear, hardly noticeable, yellow colored with orange shadings on the root, matte finished. Overall, the heads are great, no issue whatsoever. Although, I think he could use a longer head join. Appearance is fantastic. Proportion is now following Dragon Ball Z style, not Dragon Ball Super. He looks sturdy now. Color scheme is similar to Goku Awakening 2015. Boots are newly sculpted, different than Body 2.0's. Lines are tidily painted. Ankle joint is well hidden. Torn pants and exposed legs are finely sculpted. No color mismatch on knee joints. Muscles are clean cut and sharp. The pants are orange with darker shadings around the hip, evenly matte finished. Thigh cutout is close to the hip, better than BFTF trunks or Goku SS4. The belt and torn shirts are also beautifully sculpted and flawlessly painted with some shadings, made of soft plastic, matte finished. This guy is buff, similar to Goku SS4 minus the fur. Body is thick, super buff, sharp muscle sculpts with random battle damage scratches. The belly is soft while the chest is rigid, just like Goku SS4. Too bad the chest color is slightly lighter than the rest of his body. It's not a deal breaker though. He is mostly pre-mold colored with thin matte finish. Color separation is flawless, no shadings or scratch lines though. So far, Goku looks fantastic from top to bottom. Truly a figure well worth his price. The Kamehameha effect is semi-translucent, painted with some color gradation. Very similar color to Gohan's Kamehameha from Orange Piccolo. Here's some side by side with the 2015 Awakening version. What a difference 8 years makes! Body 3.0 head joint is bigger than Body 2.0. So head swap only works one way. You can put the new head on body 2.0, but you'll need to secure it with some glue tacks. I think it's not bad, besides the skin tone difference. If you're feeling pushy, you can force plug the old head on the new joint because the head is elastic. So basically, because the old head doesn't have hard plastic socket like the new head, you can plug it into the new body. That is, as long as the neck hole fits. Here's some examples. Goku base heads look too small for the body. All of Goku's new Super Saiyan mold starting from 2019 has smaller neck hole and doesn't fit the body. Although looks similar, Figuart's ball pack is slightly bigger than DF's and both heads have hard plastic socket. So, you can put Figuart's head on DF's body, which has smaller head joint, 
but not the other way around. As usual, you need some glue tacks to secure the head. Whereas forcing TF's head on Figuar's body is not recommended, since it might break the heart socket. Too bad, because he looks great this way, but no worries, I bet TF is on the way to clone this body. Hand variant is identical to Goku SS4, except Bandai replaced the teleport hands with the new claw hands. Fortunately, Body 2.0 hands are compatible with the new body. Actually, the body is not a new design. Bandai has discovered the formula since 2021 with Goku SS4. Side by side, Body 2.0 is much slimmer and has limited thigh range because of the thigh plates. Looking at the thickness, I think this is manga accurate. I guess he's in full power mode like Frieza. Too bad Bandai didn't give him slight shadings like they did with Goku Awakening. I think the ideal normal Goku Body 3.0 would be like DF's Martialist. It's a nice balance between Body 2.0 and full power mode. However, the sleeves make lifting arm awkward. I hope Bandai came up with a better sleeves design. Bandai's boots are newly sculpted and the feet are smaller. DF boots are surprisingly more stable. I gotta say, DF Martialist makes a nice companion to Goku Legendary. For me, both are mandatory to collect as of now. The new Goku effect parts are compatible with Goku Legendary. Ankle is removable to insert the effect ring. The key blaster holder is also compatible with the new armband. Hand clearance is a bit tight though. Goku now weighs 89 grams, pretty hefty in hand for his size. Here's some comparison with older Goku bodies. Goku Legendary has Body 3.0 design, identical to Goku SS4. High possibility is certified, so I'll make this fast. Joint quality is very good. They're all smooth and sufficiently tight. No squeaky joints or wobbles. Zero issue on my copy. Range is great. Arms can reach a crossbody. Arm range is excellent. Bicep Swivel Elbow Bend Range is great Arm Band Rotates Hand Range is Common Fig Warts Torso and Waist is on a Ball Joint Range is great to all directions Torso is safe to detach Joint is durable the absent belt is soft plastic, smooth articulation. The knot is articulated, not easily detached like Luffy's. Legs are safe to detach. Ball joint is slightly weak but not as wobbly as BFDF trunks, thankfully. You can oil the waist joint from below if it's tight. Mine is smooth and nicely tight. Butt cheek is soft plastic, great for leg range. Flex range is excellent. Ab scrunch is great, on par with BFTF trunks. Thigh swivels. Exposed leg is not articulated, unlike OG Goku Awakening. Knee bent range is acceptable, limited by the pant sculpt. Feet range is excellent. Ankle joint is connected with a ball joint. You can, re you can reposition the joint for extra up and down range. Toes bend almost 90 degrees. Goku Legendary is an awesome Vigwarts that checks all the box for me. It has a great build quality, fantastic appearance and plenty option parts with an affordable price of 50 bucks. And the best part is, he's a regular release, 
so he's abundantly available worldwide. As things stand right now, these two are all the Goku you need. Both are nicely built and a joy to pose. I can't imagine we will have to replace all Goku variants with Body 3.0 all over again. What do you think? Will you sell or keep your Body 2.0s? Leave a comment below. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.